dark nights or sunny days Honey, you don't have to be afraid I'm here with you always Just be here with me Dead broke, a millionaire I take them both long as you're there Together without a care You are all I need I've tried and tried and tried all kinds of sizes But none of them would tailor just for me But I can't deny And there's no big surprise That the part I need is just your missing piece Oh Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome to this great little freedom camping spot in Hamner Springs, just a kilometre from town. But we're pretty excited to jump over the hill with you and explore the beautiful Molesworth Station. Man, what a gem this place is. It's unreal. Hey everyone, we are off to Hamner Springs. We've spent the last few days here at the Wyo Tavern. Really cool park over property. You don't have to be an NZMCA member to park here. They do really cheap meals at the pub, like $10 burgers, um, which is very good. And they're good, they're pretty tasty as well. But we've just been camping here on the lawn with a bunch of people that we've never met before, 37 of us. <laughs> so I didn't really film anything for here, but Hamner Springs will be very interesting. But anyway, this is a great spot to come park. It's free to camp here too. So Wyo, a small town on a big river surrounded by natural beauty and it gets pretty hot in here as well in North Canterbury. The truck was reading 34 degrees when we arrived. And shout out to Shannon Radcliffe and his family from Rad Road Adventures for bringing all your friends along to come and meet us and camp with us and the kids. But now we're off to Hamner Springs and Molesworth Station. And these old bridges with only one lane, they're pretty awesome. I think this one had four passing bays on it. I'm always looking for that light in the shadow Always been wandering through darkness I'm always listening for a sound to follow Waiting for something to begin problem solving to be done on the road, eh? I hate these push taps. Because we need 200 litres of water, it would take about 15 minutes of holding this button down because of the pressure. So cable ties came to the rescue. Yes, we got it. Stage saw tie five. <laughs> saw the hack on the NZMCA app, so I was like, cable ties. Pretty disappointed that both of these dump stations are not working, I'm guessing they're connected. Clearly when you open the lid it is disgusting in there and there are wet wipes which is clearly everyone knows you don't put wet wipes down into the dump stations because it blocks it. This is the only place though. Yeah this is the only place, the only public dump station otherwise you've got to pay to go to a campground. Lucky we have a spare toilet cassette. But we lucked out with this spot. Some nice people who were going to leave packed up a little bit earlier so that we could take their spot. We felt we had the best spot to camp for free in Hamner Springs. I think it's worth pointing out that since leaving Rotorua in October, we still have not stayed in one camping ground or holiday park. One of the perks and cost savers of having an off-grid caravan. I was surprised at how much productive forest there is here in Hamner Springs. Lots of logging going on in the area. And from where we are camping, it's the start for many great walks and mountain bike rides. It's also got some bathrooms at the other side of the parking area. evening here in Hamner Springs where we parked the forest park right across the road is the sculpture walk so we're going to do that now that it's cooled down to maybe 26 degrees which is a bit more easier for a bit of walking so let's go and do it Girl, great, 
The kids have watched uh, the little rascals recently, can you tell? That was the sculpture. What beautiful forest and a beautiful evening. We're going to go back and use our oven for the first time cooking a meal, some lasagna. So we'll see how that goes. All right, team. So the lasagna is well and truly on now. It's a vegetarian lasagna for Jade. So I'm just making some cheese sauce and it's going to go on top of this lasagna here. I'm, I always spread it all through there too. You've been looking for safety in places it should be, but somehow it couldn't be found. You've been thrown in the deep end, drowning in quicksand, but I know that you'll make it out. So that's our lasagna. The oven actually cooked it real evenly. Pretty impressed. It looks good. It is a beautiful and glorious day here. We're going to head over into the Molesworth station today, which I've been excited about getting into for a long time. Just want to say about this Freedom Camping site though, it is free to camp here. There are no signs around here to say how long you can stay or anything. Last night was packed, uh, probably from 5 6 o'clock. Cars were driving in and driving out. You can see it's not really that big of a space. Someone did turn up last night to check to make sure everyone was self-contained, but didn't talk to anyone, kind of just drove in, drove out. So Molesworth Station is amazing. 440,000 acres of farmland. It's government owned, so it's public land, and it has an extensive history of connecting Marlborough with Canterbury, a trip that would often take weeks by foot or horse. The weather here has the extremes though, and most of the road is closed through winter time. Can't bring a caravan in here, and you even need a permit if you want to bring a trailer. But there are some campsites for tenting. Alright, we've come to the St. James Homestead. Man, it's just crazy to think what life must have been like out here a hundred years ago. You just were so isolated, you would have been totally self-reliant for everything. when the house has been burnt down because of the chimneys. It's always still there. Oh, 
Oh, these must have been the neighbours, about 20 something k's down the road. Gosh, I don't even know how to say this word, but the atrium house was an accommodation block for those travelling this road. 207 kilometres from Blenheim to Hamner Springs. Heck, so this building was built in 1862 as like an accommodation stop for those travelling the inland route. I guess there probably wasn't much of a road on the coast as we drove through Kaikoura. They would have just all been in the water. Uh, there's a lot of earthworks through there to put that right in. Incredible to think about how good it would have been to see this building, but man, it must have some stories to tell, eh? Ooh, the floor is like. Yeah, real soft, eh? Oh, let's go. Ready. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. So on our drive through, we were looking for a good spot that we could stop and swim. It was pretty hot today, although it was a little bit windy, but we found this magic spot right here with the cows. It's a bit windy, but how is this for a cool spot to go swimming? This is from uh, Shannon from Rad Road Adventures told us about this spot. After we were done with our swim, the day was getting on and it was time to head back for dinner. We decided to take Jolly's road back, which was a shortcut. It did say four wheel drive required, and boy, they weren't wrong. That was steep, rutted, washed out. This road is not maintained, and I didn't know that. Although those signs were discovered, were, they were on the other side of the mountain range. The kids definitely loved the adventure of bouncing around all over the place though. And there it is, road not maintained beyond this point, suitable only for high ground clearance four wheel drives. Road is definitely not maintained. That country, all right. Woo, Jolly's Pass, would have been way faster going the other way. Good morning from a very cold Hemna Springs. It's currently seven degrees outside, which is a bit of a shock, it is February. And uh, I've been using a lot of the inverter the last few days and we're parked <laughs> under these trees and we lost power. We've got no electricity, but luckily we have the Anderson plug. So we plug that in and we've got power again. It's just kicked back in. So while the truck is running. She's coldy. Where is she? I can barely see her. She's here somewhere. <laughs> cold, the sun is out. So this is the day we checked the forecast. This is the best day to go to the hot pools because it's gonna be cold today, a high of 18, even though the sun is out. So you don't really wanna to go to the hot pools when it's nearly 30 degrees. Yeah, we've done three nights here, so parking up under these trees for three days has not given us much solar during the day. We're saying goodbye to our lovely site of three nights, and now we're going to the NZMCA park for a night I before we head to Christchurch. Say goodbye to the bugs. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there's been a lot of sand flies hanging around this area which have been biting us and like wasps. mad, even with bug spray on. And there's, and there's wasps. wasps. Yeah. So we decided to take the caravan to the NZMCA park, a much more secure spot for leaving the caravan for the whole day, although a quick stop off to the dump station was required on our way. Why would you want to bother with the tie downs this time when you've got children to do it for you? Right, let one of the girls have a turn types. Nope. <laughs> also good, they've cleared out the dump station, so we were able to dump our toilet because it was getting pretty uh, pretty bad. And um, the toilets where we were parked, we actually had like blocked sewage pipe, so you could use the toilet and it would flush, then it seemed to be overflowing out the back of the building. This NZMCA park's lined with fruit trees down here and you can actually get to the Hamna River. Let's go and have a look.
pretty cool little stream to explore for the kids. But these kids are very, very keen on getting to the pool, so let's go and get there, eh? Well, it did not take long for the battery to be fully charged again, only about an hour and a half and we've got full battery. Okay, let's go. Time for the pools. <laughs> the Hamner Springs pools are iconic to the area. There's 22 hot pools and water slides in a town that has a population of less than 1,000. I didn't know it was that little here. But in the summer holidays, they get up to 5,000 people through these pools in one day. So we were really impressed with the place and so keen to get out and enjoy it. I think we're going to have fun. Toby is so excited about all of this. Toby, how excited are you? This is going to be scary going up here. Shall we? Yeah. The kids wasted no time getting in. I didn't even have sunscreen on yet and they were already off. You always got to let the water back up behind you. Three, two, one, go. I'm a bit scared of this one, it's pretty full on. It's not! This one is definitely a lot more intense. The camera doesn't show you how steep the slide goes down and then back up you feel like you're gonna fall over backwards. Definitely a lot of adrenaline on this ride. <laughs> oh. The best part about going midweek in February is that it's so much quieter here at the pools. Uh, we brought our tickets online and they had a family deal. It was $19 extra, but you would get two large wood-fired pizzas, which we thought was a good idea because the kids we knew were going to be so hungry after spending a whole day of sliding and swimming. Poor old so. No dairy brie. Can't even eat a scone. I'm going to the 42 two degree pool. When <laughs> it, it was full at the start, really full in the middle, and not full at the end. This week is actually the last week. The pools are open until nine, and then they'll close at seven. So I guess it is the end of peak season here. February the 9th. I bet these pools are so busy after people spend a day skiing up at the Hamner Ski Area. Man, what a day, team. So good. No, we've been here over nine hours at the pools. I think we're all going to be tired tomorrow, but we'll see you tomorrow. All right, so Hamner Springs, what did you think? Man, what a cool spot. Uh, <laughs> love doing all the biking and the hiking, and love that it was a free stay. Uh, love the pools. What's not oh, love? Yeah. Love going up into Molesworth. Man, what a cool spot. Well, sweet. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. We appreciate the support as we try and grow this channel. Give us a thumbs up and write us a comment. It all helps bring attention to YouTube about our videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Enjoy. Dead broke, a millionaire. I take them both long as you're there. Together without a care, you are all I need. I've tried and tried and tried all kinds of sizes. But none of them would say that just for me But I can't deny And there's no big surprise That the part I need is just your missing piece Oh